might sit here, man of God, and say I'm crazy. But one thing I do know, I love God with every fiber of my being. I don't care if the church don't be full. I'm not worried about a full church. What I'm worried about is people who love God for real. And when you go out, that you emulate what I've shown you, that you love people in spite of what they do. I don't care if they talk about you. Keep loving them. I don't care if they also side you. Keep loving them. Get your mouth off them preachers. Get your mouth off them preachers. Get your mouth off them. Go back in your prayer closet and say, God, clean my hands. Mm. If I said something knowingly and unknowingly, I want my slate clean today. My tribulation brought me into obedience. My tribulation, my every trial I went through, brought me into obedience of God. See, God said, I refine you, but not as silver. See, some people don't understand. When gold is refined, Gold and silver is refined differently. Gold, when gold is refined, you know all of my minerals be in the rock. You put them in the furnace, the furnace gets so hot. So with the gold, this is what the gold does. The gold, the trash should come to the top, but the gold go to the bottom. That's why a lot of y'all want to be gold. Y'all want to what go? Y'all want to act like you go, but you don't want to go to the bottom. See, you don't understand when gold is refined, gold go to the bottom. But nobody want to start from the bottom. Nobody want to go to the bottom. Everybody want to go to the top. Everybody want to be the number one stunner. Everybody want to be top dog. I'm telling you today, how many times when preachers going to sit down and be the low man on the totem pole, when we have, when we have, when we have banquets, you notice, man of God, I don't eat to everybody else eat. Why? Because I put myself on the low pole. They get so mad at me, so my pastor, we doing this for you. I said, but you know what? I grew up with my mom. My mom was a single parent. My mom was sit here, and I had four brothers and sisters, and everybody would eat. My mama wouldn't eat. My mama made sure we ate, and we would sit there, and I hear my mama's stomach growling. I hear my mama's stomach growling. Even with my children, I don't even eat unless they eat first. I, I eat after they eat because I grew up that way. How many times will the preacher sit down and be the low man on the totem pole? How many times will they be the low man on the totem pole and let everybody else eat and you eat last? Nobody want to be like that. I'm telling you, I declare decree. One day I will have a building where I house, where I house the homeless, where I will house the homeless. I feed the homeless. I will have it. I declare decree it because when we gonna come to the place where we get low. Yes. When it gonna happen? Come on, come on. Yes, Thank you. Why are you trying to be the number one stunner? Yes. Why are you trying to be the big baller shot caller? When me and him go out, I can tell him to be quiet sometimes. You're like, this is my pastor, this is my pastor. Not that I'm ashamed to be the pastor, but I'm like this. When I go on somebody else's land, if they cussing first, I don't stop them from cussing. Keep on, keep on cussing. Yeah. I, I, that don't move me. But I know once you open the door for me to talk to you, I know some change for that. Mm -hmm. Say help, Lord. Help, Lord. Look at your name and say, my tribulation. In my life, in my life brought, me brought me into the obedience of God. Come on, somebody talk to me. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. So, so check this out. So, 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 so the Bible say that it calls it to, they say the stages of being in pain or trouble. But listen to what Webster say. Webster say affliction is something such as a disease that causes pain or suffering. 
How many of y'all suffering right now? Come on, how many of y'all? Put your hands up. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Come on, how many of y'all? You may see here be going through a little issue in your body, but the Bible say, did the Bible say, the Bible say this, for I reckon that the sufferings uh, of this present time is not what worthy to be compared. I'm telling you, uh, if you're going through some stuff, uh, if you're going through, keep giving them praise. Uh, if you're going through, uh, if you're going through some stuff, uh, keep giving God praise. Because uh, I'm telling you, uh, you keep praising God. Uh, God going to flip that thing around. Uh, God going to change that thing. Uh, you may be broke this week, uh, but God going to bless. Uh, I speak right now uh, as an oracle of God uh, that your finances change. Uh, I don't care who it is. Uh, your finances change. Uh, and God up next in line uh, when they finances change. Uh, let my finances change. Uh, change it right now. In the name of Jesus. I think one man of God say, Money! Come in unto who? Me! And come with now! Let me help y'all. Too many small churches don't got no power. Well, too many small churches got power, but they ain't got no money. See? You sit here, you can fill up 5,000 seat stadiums. Oh, you can preach faith all day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes. When you know you 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 preaching and the whole place is full, oh yeah, you preach with faith. Amen. Because you know if you just get a dollar from everybody, yes, you still doing good. Yeah. Helping somebody. But when you start talking about these little bitty churches with the power, but they don't have money. And so we got to get to the place where we got to sit here and ask God, say, God, we want the balance. We Not that we're seeking for money, but God, we asking for the balance. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's going to get to the place where the church is going to have to help the world. Nobody want to talk to me. I'm talking about all these drug treatment centers. It's getting ready to close when the insurance collapse. God told me, say, insurance is getting ready to collapse. Nobody want to believe me. I told y'all. That I, I told y'all that I seen I seen something else coming I told y'all I say the next shooting that gonna hit the news I told you it was gonna be what it was gonna be in the elementary school that sound crazy when I said it didn't I? everybody looked at me what do you mean I said the next big shooting was gonna happen in an elementary school they looked at me like that negro crazy but what happened did it happen it happened right in the school and guess what it happened in an 